in cardio and pulmonary arrest. Now. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been shot during a speech in the city of Nara. What's happening? How is he? Let's find out. Nicole's standing by. Hi, Nicole. Well, we have some video that has been captured uh, showing some indication of what happened during that attack. You can see Shinzo Abe addressing the crowds. He was on the campaign trail. A shot is heard and then a suspect is wrestled to the ground. He was later airlifted out. Officials say that his heart has stopped. The fire department of the city has also confirmed that he was in cardio and pulmonary arrest. Now, local media says that a 42-year-old man has been arrested, that he used a homemade gun, and that he told police that he was unhappy with Abe's performance and that he intended to kill him. Now, this is an incredibly rare, unusual situation to be happening in Japan. It's normally a very safe country. Gun violence is rare. Political violence is rare as well. Uh, we've also heard from Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida. He has said that there will, of course, be an investigation and he wants to believe that the security was sufficient and he's condemned the act in the strongest terms. More international reaction is coming out because Shinzei Abe uh, was really had global stature. He was a major figure on the international stage during his long tenure as Japan's Prime Minister. We've heard from Boris Johnson. He said that he's utterly appalled by this attack, calling it despicable. Also, the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, speaking at the G20 Foreign Ministers meeting in Bali, has said that thoughts and prayers are with his his family and the people of Japan at this time. Also, the US ambassador to Japan uh, recognising that Shinzo Abe was an outstanding leader and an unwavering ally of the United States. So many questions are going to be asked about how such an incredible security breach could have happened because looking at that video, it appears that the attack took place in close range. Uh, there doesn't appear to have been a great deal of security around, but more international reaction will come out during the day. Shinzo Abe was Prime Minister of Japan twice, as I said, the longest serving leader. He steered the country through, through a, a difficult economic period uh, when the economy was stagnating and aging population. In effect, he formed his own economic policy, which in the end was known as Abenomics. Okay, thanks so much indeed, Nicole. Thank you. Obviously, we'll continue to update you on the condition of Mr. Abe, who has been shot um, during a presentation within the last few hours.